Okay, hi and greetings to Madam Fitri. So today I'm going to present about monocotyledon plant, which is maize plant. Before I proceed with the presentation, let me introduce myself. My name is Rowan Oliver Michael, and my student ID number is two zero two zero eight two zero nine five eight. I'm a part two student. Uh, program code AT one one zero. Okay, so around 80,000 flowering plant species belong to the monocots. The word monocotyledon simply means one embryonic leaf. Monocots have a variety of unique characteristics that set them apart from other angiosperms, including differences in the leaves, stems, flowers, and pollen. Orchids and grasses are the two most diverse monocot plant groups, which make up nearly half of all monocot species. In addition, flexes, tulips, daffodils, lilies, onions, maize, and asparagus are some examples of monocot plants. That's my next slide. So for this uh, topic, I choose the maize plant. Okay. So uh, for maize plant, common name is corn. Scientific name is Z maize, and it comes from Poaceae family. Next slide. So as you can see, this is the physical characteristics that we can find in uh, maize plant. First, we have seeds with a single cotyledon. Second, parallel veined leaves. Uh, third, scattered vascular bundles in the stem. Fourth, typical cambium is absence. And then, advantageous root system. And lastly, flower parts or flower petals typically come in three or multiples of three. So next slide. Okay, seeds with a single cotyledon. So the seed of corn plant has one cotyledon, producing a single leaf after germination. Is therefore a monocot. Okay, as you can see in this uh, figure. Okay. And then next is parallel veined leaves. Monocotyledonous leaves are narrow and elongated with parallel venation. As you can see uh, in this figure, figure 3, corn leaves. Okay, so next slide. Scattered vascular bundles in the stem. So in figure 4, you can see... Uh, the stem of maize plant. So, in monocot stems, the vascular bundles are scattered throughout the ground tissue, like monocot roots. Uh, monocot stems are protected by an outer layer of dermal tissue called the epider epidermis. The rest of the stem is made up of ground tissue and vascular tissue. So, next, typical cambium is absence. Okay. In monocotyledons, normally the vascular bundles are closed. Monocot roots lack a vascular cambium and so have no secondary thickening mechanism. Monocot roots are structurally, structurally identical to eudicot roots in almost every way. Next slide. So for the next characteristics, we have a uh, advantages root system as you can see in figure 5 this is a maize plant roots advantages roots are found in monocot plants and begin to grow after the seed has germinated these roots emerge from stems branches leaves or ancient woody roots and grow above ground next flower pots typically come in three or multiples of three so maybe you're confused whether a uh, maize plant is a flowering or non-flowering plant. But let me give a brief explanation. Okay. So, um, corn is considered a flowering plant because it has flowers. That is, it has a place where pollen is produced and a place where pollen fertilizes the embryos of the seeds. 
but uh, in this picture it doesn't show uh, it doesn't look like a flower which uh, petals is three or multiple of trees okay so we proceed to the next slide so for germination process maize plant uh, is maize plant seeds uh, germinate in hypogeal web where uh, germination of a plant takes place below the ground and then maize seeds germinate in 4 to 10 days on average when soil temperatures are at 29 to 32 degrees celsius seed germination and emergence are at their best and then it takes 14 uh, 10 to 14 days for maize to emerge at 12 to 15 degrees celsius and lastly for 18 to 21 degrees celsius the maize plant takes uh, about five to eight days to develop okay, so um, in conclusion maize plant is an example of monocots whose embryos have a single cotyledon like most of the monocotyledon plants maize have the physical characteristics which are pa parallel veined leaves scattered vascular bundles in the stem typical cambium is absent absence advantages root system and flowers parts come in three or multiples of three in addition maize seeds germinate in hypogeal way where uh, the seeds germinate takes place seed germination takes place below the ground okay so that's it from me thank you for your time and interest